Good morning, I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. We're gonna go through some balance exercises that you can do either at the gym or at home. Now I'm standing in a wide open space. If you are doing balance exercises for the first time, you really wanna be standing next to a counter or something that if you lose your balance, you're gonna be able to hold on to it. I don't recommend anything on wheels, obviously, because it will go flying. Um, a chair, it just make sure it's a heavy enough chair that if you need to fall over, you're able to support yourself. But you really wanna make sure that you don't have anything sharp or anything that you can really trip onto if you do stumble and fall. So the first exercise we're gonna go through is just single leg balance. So you start by standing on one leg. Now this you can do when you're brushing your teeth, you can do this while you're washing the dishes. To progress this, you can then do it and close your eyes, okay? And you can stand just with your eyes closed on one leg. If that gets super easy, you can put a pillow underneath your foot and then start doing it with a pillow and then progress to a pillow with your eyes closed. What you wanna be, your goal is to get 30 seconds without touching down. So you wanna just stand like this for 30 seconds. You don't wanna have your other foot touching your leg. That's what we consider cheating. You wanna make sure that you're balancing just on that one foot. 30 seconds, eyes closed is the goal, but at first you may just be doing a couple of 10 second reps. You wanna do about a minute of this. So if you're doing about 10 seconds and you're falling over, you wanna do six of those. Again, brushing your teeth is a great time to do this. You wanna make sure that you concentrate on both sides equally to make sure that you're working on the balance. And the next thing you can do is a single leg lunge. So from the side, you're gonna start here and all you're gonna do is just step back and come up. Now, if this is too challenging, you can start with both feet and then step one foot back and then come back up and come back up to two feet. To work on your balance though, you wanna try and just have one leg touch gently and come back up and then go back down nice and slow. You wanna make sure that you're doing proper lunge form as you're doing that, that your knee isn't coming forward on your toe, that your heel, your front heel is staying on the ground. The next exercise that you can do to practice your balance is a single leg hip hike. So all you're gonna do with that is you're gonna balance on one leg. Now this gets a little tricky because everyone wants to bend their knee. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna just lower our hip down and hike it up, okay? Nice and easy, just like this. If you start bending your knee, you're doing too much. So it's just a simple lower down and bend. You're gonna feel this on the leg you're standing on, not in the foot and the leg going up and down. You may feel it a little bit, but you're gonna feel this more in the leg that you're standing on. Again, have a counter or something you can hold on to, so that way if you feel yourself stumbling, you can hold on. For the lunge and the squat, or any of these exercises, except for those single uh, leg stands with your eyes open or closed, you wanna do about three sets of 10 of these, if you can. You can start with two sets of 10 and work your way up. I'm all for compound exercises, so this not only works your balance, but it's gonna work some of your core, some of your hip muscles, and things like that. The next exercise is a single leg squat. So usually what we try and recommend is you just start with a chair behind you. So if you fall over, you have somewhere to sit, and all you're gonna do is just squat down and come back up, okay? Now, sometimes you squat down and you fall into the chair and then you have to stand up with two legs, that's okay. But again, it's these compound movements that we like to introduce you to because it's so important that you work more than one uh, thing at a time. Otherwise, you're spending hours and hours and hours working on each individual component. So again, single leg squat, your foot's gonna stay flat on the floor, your butt's gonna go back like you're sitting in a chair, and then you're gonna come back up. Go as deep as you can. If you can go all the way to the ground, great, and come back up. Again, three sets of 10 of those, is gonna provide you with a really good return. And you may fatigue before that, that's okay. Do one set, do two set, and then work your way up to three set. And the next exercise we're gonna do is called a single leg deadlift. So you're gonna start. Now the most important thing with this is that you don't collapse your back. So you're gonna start standing on one leg. You really wanna make sure that you kick your leg back first. So everything up here stays still, and you wanna kick that leg back, and then bend forward. Now, a lot of people can do this with weights in their hands, but do not do that until you're doing that three sets of 10. 
where your leg is up just as high as your body. You're not rotating this way, okay? And you're not doing this. That is not proper form. I see a lot of this at the gym, okay? Legs are bent, they're not as high. You should be basically straight across as you go down. And then come back up nice and slow. Try not to touch down in between. If you're stumbling, obviously do so. But try as you come back down and you lower to just go right into the next repetition. Do not add weights until you're doing three sets of 10 comfortably without falling over. Again, you're gonna feel that on the standing leg, not necessarily on the leg going back. Final exercise is just a single leg step down. I have a step here. You can use a step at home. It doesn't have to be anything special. It can be a curb, just something that you can work on. So all you're gonna do, the progression is you're gonna start here and you're just gonna step down and come back up. As you get better, what you can do is stand here, drop your foot down and come back up. So you're not actually stepping down, you're stepping back up. Just nice and slow and easy. So that's a really good balance routine, but it also works a lot of leg muscles, a lot of core. So it's a combination of a lot of factors that you can uh, call a workout for the day. If you need other references, you can always go to our YouTube channel, Total Performance Physical Therapy, where you can find even more videos. Thank you.